Good afternoon, good afternoon. I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, the limo driver brought our young ladies to the wrong entrance, so I apologize, but uh, we're very excited to have them here nonetheless, and we're excited to have all of you here, so thank you. My name is Chris Yank. I'm the VP and General Manager of the Connecticut Sun, and uh, it's a great day. We're very excited. So what we'd like to do is uh, just, I'd like to say a few comments. So I'm gonna bring Mike Tebow up to say a few words. We will then introduce the players. Uh, then we'll open up if anybody has some questions out in the audience, and then we'll break it out for the media for a Q&A one-on-ones. Uh, exciting day. It's just hard to believe uh, what happened yesterday. Uh, for us, it was uh, New Year's and Christmas, and everything good all rolled into one. It's better than we could have ever imagined. And, you know, if you look at this group of young ladies behind us, this is by far the best rookie class you'll ever see in the WNBA, and it's the best that's ever been in the history of this league. So a busy offseason obviously culminated yesterday with the draft uh, and the trades that we made uh, over the last couple of days to make this happen. And I just want to let you know uh, what you see here, ladies, is, is what to expect in our arena. We're really excited about the start of the season. So without further ado, Coach Tebow. I'll be very brief. Uh, th the real reason uh, we were delayed is we were working on another trade back there. So um, well, we ran out. So. Um, as a coach and a coaching staff, Scott and Bernadette are here. Um, this has been obviously a very busy offseason. Uh, a lot of speculation, some controversy, a bunch of other things, but at the end of all of it, uh, the six months or seven months that it's been since we uh, finished our season last year in an unaccustomed fashion, uh, we have been trying to diligently rebuild this in the uh, mold that we got accustomed to for several years with a high energy team, upbeat players. Um, and I think we've uh, accomplished most of what we wanted to do in blending uh, veteran players and new young players with a huge upside. And uh, these four ladies here are a, a big part of what we plan to do with this team. Um, I'm not gonna spend much time on all of them. Chris is gonna introduce them, but I, needless to say that our coaching staff is very excited about what we were able to do to get these players. We had targeted them uh, from the start of our process. Uh, we had to figure out as we went how to move up to get each of them. Uh, the Tina one was the first, obviously, uh, with the big trade uh, earlier in the year. Uh, but each of these players, uh, we tried to work to put ourselves in position to get. And um, we're very, very happy with the draft. Uh, our fifth player that we drafted, Joe Leadham, couldn't be here today. They are having a thank you and appreciation day up at Franklin Pierce uh, to culminate uh, their season. So uh, she sends her regrets. But um, I'm going to let Chris uh, come up here. But from our coaching staff, uh, ladies, welcome to Mohegan. Welcome to Connecticut Sun. Uh, it's going to be a great season uh, and one that everybody here, I think, will remember. Thanks. Uh, as Mike mentioned, uh, Johanna uh, Leadham couldn't be here today, but let me give you a little background on her. She was our 27th pick. Uh, she's from Franklin Pierce College. Uh, she's a two-time WBCA Division II Player of the Year who averaged 26.9 points and 7.9 rebounds and 4.4 assists this season. And she's the all-time leading scorer in Division II women's basketball history with 3,050 points and ranked seventh all-time with Division II in Division II with 459 steals. So we're looking forward to seeing Johanna. I'll go in inverse order. With the 15th pick in the draft, we welcome a guard from Louisiana State University, an all-SEC team, first team player, and former Coaches All-America honorable mention, Allison Hightower. We'll take a group picture afterward as well. With the seventh pick, the Sun selected a guard forward from Kansas, a former Associated Press All-American honorable mention. She was a leading candidate for Big 12 Player of the Year before her injury, and she finished her career scoring over 1,900 points. Please welcome Danielle McCray. With the third pick in the draft, 
that we acquired during a trade. A 6-2 forward from Nebraska, she is currently the Big 12 Player of the Year, our first team All-American, a Big 12 first team in the last, excuse me, a first team Big 12 player the last three years, and a member of the Big 12 All-Defensive Team. Please welcome Kelsey Griffin. We also had one other pick. <laughs> With the first pick in the draft, she is a 2010 Naismith Trophy recipient, the Big East Player of the Year, the USBWA Player of the Year. She anchored consecutive undefeated NCAA National Champions at Connecticut, and she completed her all-time storied career as the all-time leading scorer and rebounder in program history, Tina Charles. <laughs> We'll just take a picture with everybody, and then we'll open up to some uh, Q&A if you'd like. Yeah, we can do it off the side or however you want to do that. I can't stand down there. All right, does anybody out there have any questions? We'll break it out for media in a little bit. Anybody have any questions for any of our new draftees? Don't be. Are you all happy? Yeah. I don't think she meant you, she meant them. You guys happy? Yeah. All right, which, any of you guys want to come up and say something? Don't be bashful. Come on. All right, here we go. Danielle McCray. Hello, everyone. Danielle McCray, as he mentioned, um, I'm. Thrilled to be here. Um, can't wait to get on the court and play in front of you guys and show you guys what we're made of. So really excited to be here and thank you all, all for coming out and looking forward to seeing you in the future. Hello everybody, Allison Hightower. I just wanted to say I'm truly blessed to be here right now. I'm really excited, I'm ready to get to work and. Uh, bring a championship back to Connecticut. So, hope we can do that. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out. It's awesome to hear you guys. Um, being from Nebraska, you know, I was hearing about you guys and your fans all year long, and I'm just excited that you guys are going to be cheering for me now. All right? <laughs> Um, uh, I think everybody has said everything that I was going to say, so <laughs> I'm just saying hey and just thanks for coming out and I'm looking forward to having a great year. Thank you. Did anyone have any specific questions from out there before we break it into the media? Anyone? Thank you very much for coming out. We hope to see you this season. We start May 15th for the regular season. Thank you. <laughs> 